Like, what if, uh, what if they just sold cocaine for an entire season? And then as it progressed, he was like, you know what, I want them to never, I want them to have the cocaine but never sell it and never actually kill it. So throughout the whole season, they never sold it and nobody ever died because of them in particular. They never killed anyone. And so that was like the big thing. And then he knew at the end of the season he wanted a lot of the happy baby. So that was really the only kind of arc that really was. When did you, sorry, when did you guys know that um, Sterling was going to be the baby daddy? When did I you know? Think always. Always? I think he always knew. Okay. So because we kind of planted the seed in the, in the last in season four, at the very end, she said that uh, she had a plan of what she was going to do. So Adam always knew it was going to be Sterling. Yeah. How do you see season six being affected by what happened in season five, apart from the baby, which is well? So now they're um, kind of trying to do freelance stuff for the CIA, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's kind of more back to the kind of Archer model, Mission of the Week kind of stuff. But then we also have some of these other CIA characters in there. And then also the baby's there. So that's always kind of something that they have to worry about and deal with. So uh, it's cool because it's kind of a reset, but there's still these kind of lingering things there that they have to deal with. And uh, in the episode that we'll see today uh, at the panel, it's pretty great how how they got the office back. I think it's a really funny reveal. So it's, That's a, awesome. it's the same office, ish. 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 <laughs> it's it's a really funny joke. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Super fast. Uh, on the the episode that we'll see today is. Uh, a, a gentleman named Togo Igawa, who is, uh, he was in Memoirs of a Geisha and also in, uh, I think The Last Samurai he was in as well, and he's uh, Japanese born, and he's, I think, the first Japanese uh, person to be in the Royal Shakespeare Company. He's, he's, he was awesome. And also, uh, Alison Tolman of Fargo uh, is a guest star in an episode that we just recorded. I don't think it's too much of a spoiler to say that she's going to be Pam's sister. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be great. We're super excited about that, and she was awesome. She great. Is there anything else you can tease coming up about the season? It's great. Uh, Barry comes back, and uh, it's going to be a really great episode. It's really hilarious. And uh, does he still talk to himself? Oh yeah, I, it's even worse. <laughs> he's, he's even crazier. Yeah, the, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> she is back to her large pink cocaine set. And I don't think we really explained it. It's just like her hands back to how she was. Hey, so wait, when, so when Adam comes to you with uh, like let's sell cocaine for a whole year, yeah. and you did it, it was successful, it was like, now you guys are taking a step back, you know, you're going back to normal. If he comes to, look, to you with an idea like that again, are you more open or less open than what you were before? I think we'd be just as open. One of the original things was let's have them sell cocaine for a year, and then the whole next season would be them in prison for a whole season, but. I think we decided against that. But yeah. <laughs> Did you guys have any stories for the prison? No. Uh, just a just a nugget of an idea.